Concrete is one of the oldest building materials in the history of the human race. Today they are pouring the stem walls for the greenest house on earth. Glad to have the house moving along. We got a good break in the weather here. It is October and it's going to be 80 degrees today. So that's either good or that means global warming has arrived, I don't know which. Concrete continues to strengthen throughout its life. This is 4,000 PSI concrete, which is built to last. It will have an initial strength in a range of 3,500 PSI, but in the first 30 days or so, the strength will increase to 4,000 or even more. Concrete is one of the most energy intensive products in any building. Concrete has an immense impact on greenhouse gas emissions. Portland cement is typically used as the bonding material in concrete mixtures. For every ton of cement manufactured, a ton of CO2 is released, accounting for roughly 5% of man-made CO2 production globally. One of the best ways to make concrete greener without reducing its strength is to refine the materials. One byproduct of coal production is fly ash. Small particles released with the flue gases that can be collected to replace up to 25% of the Portland cement mixture, thereby reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The whole science of concrete, or a larger field I call building science, is emerging even more right now because of people like me and others who are really trying to figure out how we can reduce the impact of the built environment on the natural environment. Buildings use approximately half the energy on Earth, 40% or more. If all buildings could be net positive like this one, just imagine what that would do to the world economy.